In many parts of the UK, Virgin Media offers the fastest broadband speeds that money can buy. However, Virgin Media isn't perfect. Their broadband deals can sometimes be quite expensive, and some say that their customer service leaves a lot to be desired. In this video, we'll review Virgin Media broadband, explain its pros and cons, and discuss whether or not you should consider buying broadband from Virgin Media. Virgin Media is a premium broadband provider. When compared to other providers, Virgin Media broadband is not cheap. But in return for high monthly costs, you get ultra-fast download speeds, as well as other add-ons like TV channels. Virgin Media has five different broadband plans available at the moment, which we've listed here. Each is available on an 18-month contract, and typically comes with a setup fee, although sometimes Virgin waives the upfront cost when they run a promotion. Virgin Media's main draw card, other than their broadband speeds, is the range of TV channels that they have available. You can get access to basically any TV channel you'd ever want with Virgin Media, including Sky Sports and BT Sport. When you buy a TV plan, Virgin Media will send you a TV box that hooks into your broadband connection, allowing you to watch cable TV channels without the need for a satellite dish. You can also pause, rewind and record TV shows and use streaming services like Netflix using your TV box. With most of their broadband deals, Virgin Media includes their Talk Weekends phone package, which gives you inclusive weekend calls to UK landlines and Virgin Media mobile numbers. There are also other calling packages you can include to get more inclusive minutes, such as Talk More Anytime. While you can buy Virgin Media without a landline phone service, it's not normally any cheaper to do so at the moment. As Virgin Media and O2 are now in a joint venture, you also have the option of bundling an O2 SIM card with your broadband plan from Virgin. This can be quite useful if your mobile phone is currently out of contract, or you have a MiFi device that you like to use to get online when travelling. The SIM card will have roaming enabled, which is quite good because O2 currently offers the best EU roaming of any of the four major mobile carriers. Just ensure that the O2 mobile network has good coverage where you live, before you pay more for one of these deals with an O2 SIM card. Here are some of the reasons why you might choose Virgin Media Broadband. If you can get Virgin Media Broadband, chances are they offer faster speeds than any other provider. Even if you can get full fibre open reach broadband, Virgin Media generally offers a higher maximum download speed. Virgin Media uses completely different infrastructure to all other broadband providers. This means that if you experience slow evening speeds with your current provider, due to network congestion for example, Switching to Virgin Media should fix the issue. Virgin Media is a great choice if you want to watch cable TV. They have a massive number of TV channels available to choose from, and you don't need a satellite dish to watch TV with Virgin Media. However, there are a few downsides to Virgin Media broadband when compared to other providers. Virgin Media's upload speeds are worse than open reach providers like BT when comparing plans with similar download speeds. Virgin Media is not cheap, especially if you choose to include add-ons like TV channels or an O2 SIM card. Switching to Virgin Media can be a bit of a hassle when compared to switching between two different open reach providers like BT and Sky. You will need to contact your old provider to cancel the connection, and Virgin Media might need to send an engineer to your address to get you online. Virgin Media's customer service sometimes isn't as good as other providers, as we've explained in the next section. One of Virgin Media's biggest weaknesses is their customer service. It takes Virgin Media 225 seconds on average to pick up the phone when you call them. The average across all providers is 106 seconds. Virgin Media customers made 78 complaints per 100,000 subscribers. The average is 49. 78% of Virgin Media customers are satisfied with their overall service. The average was 83% and BT was highest with 88%. Virgin Media isn't the worst performer. Other providers like TalkTalk Talk and Vodafone have worse scores in some areas. However, customer service is one of the weaknesses of Virgin Media, especially when compared to Sky and BT. There are a number of situations in which choosing Virgin Media broadband makes a lot of sense. Virgin likely offers the fastest download speeds of any provider at your address, for example. If you just want the fastest download speeds, then Virgin Media is your best choice. You might also choose Virgin Media for their TV bundles, or for the fact that they have their own infrastructure, 
especially if you've had a lot of problems with other broadband providers in the past. However, Virgin Media Broadband is not cheap, and some customers have had issues with their customer service. If you can get full fibre broadband from another provider, like BT, and don't mind having a slightly slower average download speed, then this might be a better choice. And to learn more about each broadband provider and their packages, including Virgin Media, you can read our broadband deals guide, which is the first link in the description. This article explains the differences between each provider and their plans, and whether each deal is good value for money. And if you have any questions about choosing a broadband provider, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and we'll respond as soon as possible.